I've got faith journal ideas for you today. We're walking through my 100 days faith journal and I'm showing you my tab system that I came up with for it and how I made a shaker page from some packaging and also which devotional was really the toughest for me to do. Here we go, y'all. Well, hello and welcome to Pink Paper Peppermints. My name is Melissa and I'm so glad you're here. Today we're looking at my 100 Days of Less Hustle More Jesus Junk Journal. And that charm is from Kitty Witty Papercraft on Etsy and I will link her below. And I created this junk journal, Traveler's Notebook style junk journal for my devotional. And I will link that video below too if you haven't seen that yet. And so today I just want to go through about two weeks of pages and show you some of the things that I've done. On this first page, the reason I made a junk journal from my devotional was because I knew I was going to have a lot of additions and it was going to be pretty thick. So you can see I've actually added in a page here and I wanted to show you my my little tab system first and what I did was for each day of devotional I kind of pulled out the word that spoke to me the most and I created a tab with that word because I thought that would be fun to go back then and look up different things like if I want to look up the devotional about being vulnerable or listening I can do that really easily so on this page what I've done is add a page of onion skin typewriter paper in just with some washi tape and I've written with some mermaid ink from Jane Davenport and sewn on some vintage scraps of paper on the back of that I created a little mini collage with just different scraps that were on my desk and uh, typed a little sentiment on that speech bubble there, added in a ticket. That little page wrap is from my Painted Pages collection, and I have a link to that in the description below. Those are just little additions, tip-ins that you can add to your pages. And then some journaling. A lot of my journaling I didn't include because I wrote in a separate journal because I had a lot of journaling. So this page, I think this might be one of my favorites, and it's so simple. But just the, you don't have to get this. I loved that sentiment that Shauna added into the devotional. And I just wanted to really focus on that. And so I did that in sticker letters. I think those are from American Crafts. And then my tab for that was Let It Go. And I have a little asterisk there. And at the bottom, next to the asterisk, I just said, he's got this over and over again. And a little By Grace Alone sticker at the bottom there. So for this page, the devotional was all about being authentic and transparent, and so I wanted to have a really light and airy feel. So I did my tab, I typed it on a piece of old packaging that was kind of crinkled but clear, and then I just wrapped some packing tape around it to make sure that it wouldn't smear and stapled it to the page there. And for the page, I wanted to keep it really, really light. And so I used a lot of clear or light elements like this sort of holographic uh, gift wrap shred and some painted deli paper in strips there and some washi tape. And then I have this card. It was actually just a scrap that I'd already punched a square out of. And it's from my Rhythms of Grace collection that has Bible promises in journal card shape and some vintage linens. And so I just laid that down and then put a butterfly from Maggie Holmes over the top of that. Then at the bottom where it says prayer, I had this piece of tissue paper and I just glued that over it to create that transparent feel again. So on this next page, Shauna talked about choosing to bless and tuning out negative emotions and thoughts and to tuning into God's word and his grace. So that's what this page is about. I used some scrapbook paper and some thickers to create a little fold out for my journaling and sewed around some vintage paper there. On this page, I'm using some chipboard stickers from the All Heart collection from, I believe, Crepe Paper. And I've just used some packaging to create a couple of clear pages so I could create layers to my page and I loved the little record player for Turn Up the Grace, and I used a little record for my tab that says Choose Grace on there. And for the page, I wanted to create the butterflies to kind of be like the sound coming from the record player and the little trails, sewing trails. It didn't exactly come out like I thought it would, but I still kind of like how it looks with the thread trails on the Turn Up the Grace. 
So on day five, it's all about being yourself. And so I wanted to use a lot of elements that were me. And so the vintage wallpaper with big pink and orange flowers, definitely me. It wasn't quite wide enough. So I added a little strip of cardstock to the side to make the page wider. And that made it fit really well. I used these elements from an American Crafts set, which I will link below. And on the back side of that, I created a little collage with a picture of myself as a little girl and printed it on transparency and then just layered it over some vintage words and papers. So I sewed everything together on this before I actually added it into the book. And that's one of the reasons also that I wanted to be able to add pages in so that I could sew a lot of things. And that's a little, a little chipboard paint chip there, also from that All Heart collection. And then on the back, just a, some pictures and some more chipboard. This one I really loved. You never know who you are about to inspire because that's always my goal here on my YouTube channel is to encourage and inspire you. So I felt like that was really fitting. For my tab, I had this little pink cloud and I, I didn't know if this was going to work, but I attached it to some paper and then I ran it through the typewriter and it actually did work. I was able to type my words for that tab, which were just be you. So for day six, it's all about putting on love. And so I've used some pink gingham scrapbook paper from Maggie Holmes and I typed put on love over and over again on that paper and I added some sequins and this pretty rose sticker from a Hobby Lobby set of stickers. I have some word art from Freckled Fawn there and I attached this vintage crocheted lace and that's all on a vintage index card and I've just washi taped that to the page with journaling underneath. For my tab I had this piece of vintage uh, polyester and so I just embroidered love more on that and then sewed it to the page and that one took a little longer but I really liked how that came out so for day seven it's all about the journey and this particular devotional was talking about slowing down and just seeing what's around you enjoying the day the moment and not always looking forward or looking back and I really the, as soon as I read it I was reminded of a song that I learned when I was a little girl we had this was before our family was born again and we had some neighbors who they were believers and we would go down and play my brother and I would go down and play at their house and they had this record album uh, this was in the old days kids <laughs> of record albums and they it was called the music machine and we would listen to that album over and over and over and over again and it was all about the fruit of the spirit and one of the fruits of course is patience and there was a song about patience that I still remember all the words to to this day and inside this flap I have the cover of the album there and I've typed out the words to the song and I didn't look them up I typed them out from memory <laughs> because I know the song still to this day and whenever I feel like I'm in a hurry and I'm being impatient, this song comes to mind. And if you were a kid in the late 70s and 80s, I know that you probably know this album because it was very popular. And it really influenced me because I didn't actually know the Lord at the time, but it made me want to know him so much. And I got saved shortly after that, um, really before the rest of my family did. So I've just typed the the words to the song on this flap. The flap was made with some Maggie Holmes paper and washi tape and add, added that uh, album cover in. And then that's all attached to a glassine envelope for a pocket page. And I've got tucked in some ephemera from my Summer Stories collection in that and I will link that below. I've also tucked in some photos from when I was around that age with my little brother there and then that's all on attached to the page with some washi tape and I haven't actually journaled that yet because I want to tell that story and so I know it's going to take me a little longer. So for the tab, I've used an acetate flower from the Maggie Holmes collection, and I just put that on a piece of paper and then ran it through the typewriter. I got brave with typing on things from the last tab, and that worked fine, and I just put a little piece of tape over it so that, again, it wouldn't smear. 
and then I just sewed it to the page and I just ran some Illustrated Faith washi tape along the bottom of the pages there. So for day eight, it was all about being a vessel of God's love. And I've used this chipboard, I believe that's from Maggie Holmes collection, on some paper that I ran through my embossing, uh, ran through my die cut machine with an embossing folder. And then I just sanded it lightly with some sandpaper to kind of rub off that top color on the embossing and give it kind of a vintagey look. And I used a chipboard tab there, also from that same Maggie Holmes collection. So on the inside, I have some collages and I have typed out some scriptures on some vintage onion skin paper that were speaking to me about this particular devotional. And it, it's just talking about in Romans how God's love is poured into our hearts and then out of the abundance of our heart our mouths speak so I feel like it's not really something that we have to do it's something that he does through us and when I was trying to decide what to put for the tab I put follow your heart because if you follow your heart as a believer I believe you're following what the Lord is telling you because because that's what's in your heart now. So on the collage, I have some vintage, a little piece of vintage handkerchief and some stickers. Uh, I believe those are crepe paper stickers and little pieces of vellum and acetate and just different things that were on my desk. I usually just pull from things that are on my desk to create the collages which you can see that I did on the back there as well. Some painted paper scraps and ledger paper scraps and a little butterfly sticker. And then I just wrote the word love with a charcoal pencil. And then, like I said, I used the follow your heart for my tab. And I just typed that on a piece of embossed paper. So for day nine, the sentiment was, or the thing that stood out to me from that devotional was, busy doesn't own you. And so I put that in thickers, um, letter stickers on some vintage linen paper from my Valentine's collection. And I just loved that, the idea, busy doesn't own me. And there you can see the Valentine's collection that that paper is from. And I put that in and sewed it to the page. I left a couple of blank pages there because I've got some things that I want to add in there that I haven't done yet. And that's the back side of that vintage paper. And then on, on the next side is some Maggie Holmes paper. And I did another little collage there. I used that chipboard sticker is from that All Heart collection. And then I've got some vintage papers in with some vintage polyester and a little sticker also from Maggie Holmes that says, let yourself rest. And I've got a lot of journaling that goes with this and that's in a, a separate notebook. My tab also just says rest and I've got a little piece of vintage handkerchief and a little piece of vintage paper there as part of that tab. So for page 10, uh, it's all about being known and loved by God, and I wanted to keep this one really simple. I used a piece of vellum from Heidi Swap, some gold foiled vellum, which is just beautiful, and I have a picture, a selfie picture of myself underneath that, and I've used some thickers, little mini thickers that's uh, at the bottom, in the bottom right hand corner there that says known and loved. And one of the scriptures talks about how he sings over us. And so my tab says here, his song and just some private journaling underneath on that page. So for page 11 or devotional day 11, uh, it was talks about coming home. And so I've done a little house collage there on a piece of vintage paper and just use different scraps of paper, uh, some painted paper and some yarn and that that black cross paper I think is from my Prisoners of Hope collection and a little map page and then I've attached that all in with some washi tape I think that is some Allie Brown washi tape just love her stuff so much and so for the tab for this one I've just typed on some onion skin paper and layered it over a map page and it just says take a deep breath so on this next page, uh, I it's talking about being connected to the Lord and then connected to other people, our loved ones and friends that might be far away or people that are going through something. And 
connecting to them through the Lord. And so I really felt like this crochet square was what I wanted to use for my backdrop because crochet is all about connecting. It's all about connecting yarn in a way that creates something beautiful. So I've used this crochet square and I've just done a little mini collage on the bottom of it. And I've punched out a heart from some ledger paper. I added uh, a little sentiment clip from a vintage book there and some fabric. And then on the other side, I, I have the the inside of that heart is on the back of the crochet square. So kind of showing how the two things are connected through that granny square. And then I just sewed some pom-pom trim on the bottom. For the tab, I actually used the picture of the washi tape from the Maggie Holmes package. I always love cutting out those pictures from the washi tape on the back of the box because I always just think they look so pretty. And it just says connect through him. So on day 13, it was talking about the light and the dark. And one of my favorite scriptures about light and dark is in John 1. So I've typed that out and printed it on a transparency, I should say. And then I layered that over some packaging. I wanted the page to feel very light and clear. And so I layered that over some clear packaging and underneath I have a piece of sequin waste that I attached, some white sequin waste and it just the holes, I wanted it to feel airy and clear and light and bright. And then for my tab, it just says stay in the light. And I've used some gold sticker letters that I attached to a piece of transparency. So for day 14, it was all about uh, seeking the Lord with all your heart. So, of course, I wanted to have a pretty heart there. And I've used um, some vintage tapestry fabric that I cut a heart shape out of. And I sewed it to a page that I actually made out of some packaging. And I, I filmed a little clip as I was making it of that. It was actually some sticker packaging from a Dear Lizzie sticker set, I think. And so you can see that here. And I just took out the card that was on the inside and cut off that top part with the branding on it so that I just had that clear part of the card and it's it's really pretty it's got a floral pattern on it on the back I just put some ledger paper and I put some sequins on the inside and then sewed it all together and made kind of a shaker page from it I didn't sew the heart all the way so you can see I have like a little tag book that I've tucked into that heart pocket and there you can see the back of that packaging and my tab for that day is walk wholeheartedly and I typed that on I think some transparency and then attached it to a piece of playing card. So for day 15, uh, this one was tough for me to do, I will be honest. This one is about looking at yourself in the mirror and seeing yourself as beautiful and taking a, a selfie. What I did was I took a selfie to put on this page in the mirror and uh, I don't know why but it was just rough <laughs> but I I used a painted tag and I cut a hole in it so that you could kind of see the picture through on the other side and I made like a little shaker to go in that window and I added a chipboard sticker that says looking good and I I put the selfie there with um, a clear frame over it both those pieces of chipboard are from that all heart collection and then a gold glitter star there and some pink velvet ribbon and pink pom-poms. And then for my tab, I used some glitter ribbon and I typed see his beautiful creation on that as a reminder. So that is how far I've gotten so far, only to day 15. And I think we should be on day 57 or something. I don't know for sure, but it's okay. I'm just taking it slowly and enjoying it. And then I will keep you updated maybe every two or three weeks and show you what I've done. If you guys are still interested, thank you so much for joining me. If you've enjoyed the video, I would love it if you give me a thumbs up or share it with a crafty friend on Facebook or Instagram. And I will see you next time here on Pink Paper Peppermint.